Hello, namaste. Welcome to yoga with me, Matthew. I look forward to practicing for an hour. I love these hour classes. Thanks for choosing to carve an hour out and do this with me today. Stand up, separate your feet hip distance apart. Hang forward, hang down. As we start our practice out in a forward bend just like this. Get ready. We've got a lot coming our way. It's going to be challenging and athletic. It's going to push us over and over. And then at the end, it's going to feel so good. We're going to relax and open up at the end of all this. Now just take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers back there. Take them off your back as far as you like. So your shoulders open up here. Release your hands down from there. Separate your feet a little wider than your mat, and your right hand stays down. Take your left arm up to the ceiling, twisting your body to the left here. Bring that hand back down to the floor. Now take the other arm up. Our first twist on this side. A few breaths here. Bring that hand back down to the floor. Let's roll up to standing from there. Lift your arms up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in, arching back. And then fold back down to the floor from there. One more time. Let's roll up to standing. Lift your arms up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in, arch back. And then fold back down to the floor from there. And we're walking it back into down dog from there. Just start to pedal your legs out, bending one knee, bending the other knee. Let your calves open up and down dog from here. And keeping your heels down evenly in down dog. Let's come forward into our first plank. Then exhale, lower down from there. Coming into up dog. And then back into down dog after that. One more time, bring your body forward into plank again. And lowering down again. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. So good and adding more. Step or hop it up into chair pose next from here. Sink low in your legs. Arch your back up in chair pose like this. Fold it down and straighten your legs from there. Step or hop back into plank and lowering down from plank. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. And let's add more. Take that right leg high up in the air. Open up that hip if you'd like. But let that left heel press down. First crescent pose. Now bring that right foot up inside your hand. Lifting up in crescent to start it off. Sometimes I feel alone, you know it's me. Your hands come behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Look up and arch back, letting your shoulders open up more. Lift your arms back up to the ceiling. Bring your left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm up and twisting to the right. A few more breaths here. Our first twist on this side. Bring that right hand down to the floor. Step your way back into plank and lowering down from there. Good, into up dog. And back into down dog after that. Very nice, let's warm up that other side. Take that left leg up in the air, open up that hip. Let that right heel press down here.
good and coming into crescent pose bring that left foot up on this side and crescent to start it off again here and take your hands behind your back interlace your fingers look up and arch back again here letting our shoulders open up again Lift your arms back up to the ceiling in crescent. And then bring your right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm up as we twist it to the left. Now, just keep that back leg really straight as we twist. And now bring that hand down to the floor. Step back into plank. We're staying right here in plank. First five push-ups. They might be from your knees. They're as low as you want. When you're done with that fifth push-up, then it'll be up dog and down dog from there. Once you made it back into down dog, Take that right leg up in the air again. Bring your right knee to your right elbow and hold it there. Take it back out. Coming into crescent pose. Bring that right foot up in crescent to start it off here. Reach your left arm straight forward. Right arm straight back. Twisting to the right. Reverse crescent. Reach that left arm up and back. Bring it back into crescent pose from there. Then we're heading out to warrior three. Bring everything to balance out on that right leg. Hardest is your arms straight out. Otherwise, hands your harder arms by your side, but balancing here. From here, standing splits, your hands come down to the floor. That left leg should be able to get a little bit higher. And maybe that right hand comes behind your right ankle. Perhaps pull your body closer to that leg. Half a minute here. And one more breath, get that leg a little bit higher. Step now back into warrior one from there. And opening it up into warrior two next from there. Low in that front leg, hips face that side wall. And then last, bring your right hand down to the floor inside that right foot. Reach your left arm at an angle, out and up in side angle pose. And again, if you want to make it a harder, take that right arm, reach it forward so it's parallel with that left arm. Either way, a few more breaths in that strong right leg here. Beautiful. Release your hands down to the floor. Step that right foot back into plank and lower down from there. Into up dog. And back down dog after that. That other side, take that left leg up in the air. Bring that left knee toward your left elbow and hold it here. Take that leg back out. Come into crescent pose. Bring that foot up on this side and crescent to begin.
Good. Now from here, reach your right arm forward. Take your left arm straight back as you twist it left. Reverse crescent. Reach that right arm up and back here. Back into crescent pose from there. Head out to warrior three. Bring everything to balance out on that left leg in warrior three here. Again, any arm position that you want. Coming down to standing splits, your hands come to the floor, that back leg reaches higher. Maybe bring that left hand behind your left ankle if you want to add that. Good, now step your way back into warrior one from there. That right foot steps way back. Reach back up in warrior one. And opening it up into warrior two. And last, bring your left hand down to the floor inside that left foot. Take that right arm, reach it out and up in side angle here. Maybe that left arm parallel to that right arm. Strong left leg for a few more breaths here. And release your hands down to the floor. Step it back into plank and stay right there in plank. Good. Got 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Bring your right knee to your left elbow. Set it down. Left knee, right elbow. Set it down. 30 seconds, keep going any pace you want here. It's got a good beat on the music if you want to keep it with this. Keeping your feet back there in plank, so good. Lower down from plank, into up dog, and back into down dog from there. Step or hop it up into chair pose from there next. Bring your hands together at your heart, twisting your body to the right in chair twist here. Fold it down and straighten your legs from there. Roll it up to standing. Chair pose again here. Bring your hands together at your heart. Now twisting your body to the left this time. Fold it down, straighten your legs. Step or hop it back into plank and lower down from there. Into up dog and back into down dog from there. Take that right leg up in the air. Bring that right knee to your left elbow. Take that leg back out in the air. Coming into warrior one from there.
Now bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers behind you. Lean forward and down inside that right leg. Bring it back up into Warrior 1 from there. Good. And opening it up into Warrior 2. A few more breaths on that strong right leg here. And heading out to Half Moon. Bring everything to balance out on that right leg. Half Moon here. 30 seconds. Take any kind of variation or use a block if you want. But keeping it like this. Stepping it back into warrior two from there as that left foot steps back. Take reverse warrior, reach that right arm back from there. Coming back into warrior two from there now. And last, bring that right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm behind your back. You can stay here, you can wrap that right hand under, whatever you want. A lot of different variations here. But 30 more seconds just like this. Releasing your hands down to the floor. Step it back into plank. Nice and lower down from there. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. Before we get to the other side, bring your body into plank. Five push-ups again here. Take them as low as you want. And when you're done, it'll be back in a down dog from there. And that other side from down dog, take that left leg up in the air. Bring that left knee toward your right elbow and hold it here. Reach that leg back out in the air. Coming into warrior one on this side. Bring that left foot up in warrior one to start it off. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Bowing warrior. Lean your torso forward and down inside that left leg there. A few breaths. Sink as low as you can in that left leg. And now back up into warrior one from there. Opening it up into warrior two for a few more breaths in that strong left leg here. Head out to half moon, bring everything to balance out on that left leg in half moon on this side here. It. Now stepping it back into Warrior 2 from there. Reverse Warrior, reach that left arm back from there now. Crazy. 
bring it back into warrior two and one more thing bring that left hand down to the floor take that right arm behind your back stay here or wrap that left hand under or go anywhere you want from there beautiful half a minute more wherever you want to take this That's it, releasing your hands down to the floor. Now step it back into plank and stay right there in plank. We've got one arm balance on your right arm. Roll to the outside of your right foot. Reach that left arm up to the ceiling. A lot of different options. If it's hard, drop that right knee down. If you want it harder, reach your left leg up. Whatever you like here. Bring that left hand down to the floor. One push up, maybe from your knees, and then the other side when you're ready. One arm balance in that left arm in any variation you want here. If you want cloud nine, you gotta try. We'll fly. Bring that hand down to the floor. Now lower all the way down to your stomach from there. Bow pose is next. Bend your legs, reach back, grab your feet or ankles back behind you. Or just interlace your hands behind you. Either way, lift your torso, legs and thighs, everything reaches up as high as you can in a back bend here. Releasing it down and just sit back in child's pose for a moment. Back on your heels. We've been moving straight through for about 22 minutes. Take a couple breaths in child's pose before we keep moving on. I dig how hard you're working. Thank you so much for that. Now let's come back up down dog. Curl your toes. Lift your hips back up from there. Take that right leg up in the air. Knee to your nose. Bring that right knee as close to your nose as you can and hold it there. Take that leg back out. Crescent pose. Bring that right foot up in crescent to start this side off. And once you're here, lift your right heel up. It's a little harder to balance and a few breaths like that. Setting that heel back down and then head out to warrior three. Bring everything to balance out on that right leg and warrior three here in any arm positioning you want. Bring your left hand down to the floor. Take your right arm up to the ceiling, twisting half moon. If you want, you can reach back and grab your foot behind you with that right hand. Either way, twisting your body to the right for half a minute here. Good, now bring that right hand down to the floor. Standing splits for a few more breaths. Get that left leg up a little bit higher here. Step it back into crescent pose from there, reaching your body back up in crescent. 
few more things from crescent bring your left hand down to the floor take your right arm up to the ceiling your choice either stay here or slide that right leg back so it becomes one arm balance any variation if you want rock start this time you can also drop that right foot back and over having your hips face the ceiling whatever you want here to come out bring your body back into plank and then lowering down from plank into up dog and back into down dog after that good that was a hard sequence good work on that side before we get to the other side bring your body into plank again 10 seconds stay here or lower halfway down and back up into down dog from there good now that other side take that left leg up in the air bring your knee toward your nose and hold it here take that leg back out in the air coming into crescent pose on this side bring that left leg up in crescent to start Once you're here, lift your left heel up so it's a little harder to balance. Set that heel back down in crescent and then heading out warrior three. Bring everything to balance out on that left leg here. 30 seconds like this. for rum here coming to twisting half moon let your right fingers come down your left arm either reaches up or your left hand reaches back and grabs that foot behind you whatever you like here That's it, bring that left hand down to the floor. Standing splits for a few more breaths. Get that right leg up a little bit higher here. Step your way back into crescent pose from there. Right where we began. And last, bring your right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm up. Your choice, stay here or slide that left foot back into one arm balance. And also drop that left foot and leg over to rock star version. Either way, a few more big breaths here. to come out bring your body back into plank and lower down from there into up dog and back down dog after that so good from down dog bring your body back into plank and you're coming down to your forearms and forearm plank here And once you're there, lift your right leg up in the air for 10 seconds here. Set that right foot down, lift your left foot up 10 seconds there. Set that foot down. One more thing, walk your feet about halfway to your elbows in dolphin pose. A few more breaths in your strong shoulders here. Two, 
straightening one arm, then the other, putting you back up and down dog from there. So good. From down dog, take that right leg up in the air. Come into warrior two, bring that foot up and sweep your arms around in warrior two from there. Reverse warrior, reach that right arm back. Bring it back into warrior two again. Now coming into triangle next, straighten your right leg, bring your right hand somewhere down your right shin or ankle. Now left arm reaches straight up to the ceiling here. Now just extend your left arm parallel to the floor, so reaching it out over that ear. That arm extends out. Either stay here or reach your right arm parallel to your left arm to make it a little harder if you want that. Good, bring it back into Warrior 2 from there. And from Warrior 2, bring that right hand down to the floor inside that right foot. Take your left arm behind your back. Maybe wrap that right hand under, go wherever you want from here for 30 seconds like this. Releasing your hands down to the floor. Good. Step it back into plank. Five push-ups again. Maybe from your knees. Take these five as low as you want from there. When you're done with that last one, it's up dog and down dog from there. And that other side. Take that left leg up in the air. Warrior two, bring that foot up and sweep your arms around in warrior two from there. Take reverse warrior, reach that left arm back. Bring it back into warrior two again. We're coming into triangle, straightening your left leg, your left hand come somewhere down that left shin or maybe to the floor that right arm reaches up keep both legs straight as you can now extend that right arm parallel to the floor reaching it out over your ear out from your shoulder maybe add that left arm parallel to your right arm if you want to make it a little harder Bring it back into Warrior 2 from there. And now last, bring that left hand down to the floor inside that left foot. Take your right arm behind your back. You can stay here or wrap that left hand under. Do whatever you like. 30 seconds like this. Down to the river. And that's it. Release your hands down to the floor. Step your way back into plank and lower down from there. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. And now step or hop it up into chair pose from there. Now this chair pose. Bring your right ankle just above your left knee and either arms out front or hands at your heart. We're just balancing on that left leg in one legged chair here. Oh, 
set that right foot back down in chair pose and then setting up the other side left ankle on your right knee balancing here release that foot fold forward and fold down from there step or hop your way back into plank and lowering down from there into up dog and back down dog after that about five more hard minutes left to go just a little bit more work take that right leg up in the air bring your right knee to your right elbow extend that leg back out bring that right knee to your left elbow and hold it here Take that leg back out and coming into crescent pose. Bring that foot up in crescent on this side to start. Head out, warrior three. Bring everything to balance out on that right leg. Any arm position you may want again here. Coming to half moon, let your right fingers come down to the floor. Take that left arm up in half moon here. 30 seconds like this. You can also bend that back leg and reach back, grab your foot with your left hand if you want to try that option. A lot of different things here, whatever you like. Bring that left hand back down to the floor. Keep it on the floor. Take your right arm up for a few breaths in twisting half moon. Again, if you want to reach that right hand back and grab your foot, you can. Bring that hand down to the floor. Step that left foot way back into crescent pose where we began. And 10 more seconds here. Sink as low as you can in crescent like this. Sweep your hands down to the floor. Step your way back into plank. Lower down from there again. Such good work. Into up dog. And back down dog after that. One more side to go. Take that left leg up in the air. Bring your left knee to your left elbow. Take that leg back out. Bring that left knee to your right elbow next. Reach that leg back out in the air. Coming into crescent pose. Bring that foot up in crescent to start it off here. Beautiful, head out, warrior three, bring everything to balance out on that left leg here. Turning it to half moon, bring your left fingers down to the floor as that right arm reaches up. Or you can reach back and grab your right ankle with that right hand. Whatever you want, half a minute here. We're in that right hand down to the floor. Keep it on the floor. Twisting half moon as that left arm reaches up. Maybe grab that foot behind you if you want that version. I'm just 
turning dreams into reality. Bring that hand back down to the floor and stepping your way back into crescent pose where you started. 10 more seconds, take as low as you can in that left leg here. Sweep your hands down to the floor. Step that left foot back into plank and lowering down from there. Up dog and down dog from there and just come down to your knees in child's pose. You did it. What a great 40 minutes. Wow. Wow, that was a lot. Take your time here in child's pose. You can wipe off. You can take a drink, but for about 30 seconds, switching gears. Your athlete side is done. Now we really focus on resting. I'd give you a big high five if I were right next to you. But after that wonderful work, just take half a minute and relax in child's pose from there. few more breaths, either stay in child's pose or bring your torso up and lean back in reverse child's pose if you want to take that and get into your legs a little bit more. Bring your body up from here and just sit down onto your mat. We're coming into butterfly pose, so once you've sat down, Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees go wide apart. Butterfly with your hands under your feet. Pull your body forward and down from here. About a minute like this. Let your breath get slower and deeper and longer. And relax any muscles in your head and your shoulders and your neck like this. Bring your body up from here. Bring your knees back together again. Roll onto your back. Come into happy baby. Reach inside your knees. Grab the outside of your feet and happy baby from there. Releasing your feet. Set your feet on the floor, bridge or wheel is next. So with your feet down, your feet are parallel, your heels walk back, and lift your hips up in the air. First of two back bends, bridge pose or wheel pose for this first one here. Bring this back bend down. Hug your legs in once you have come down. And one more time, set your feet down again. Bridge pose or wheel pose one more time. Bring it down from there. Hug your legs in. 
shoulders and rock up to sitting from there. Extend both legs straight out in front of you as we head into a forward bend. Both legs are out, they're together, and when you're ready, reach your arms up and out and down your legs here. And it's a minute like this, just relaxing your back and your hamstrings. And keep slowing your breath down once you've come in. Back down to Nashville In Carolina In my mind But I hope For California One more time Open Road Now Gonna find A place where my heart Hits the ground Take one more big breath here. And as you're ready, roll up from there. Come all the way onto your back. We've got plow, then shoulder stand. If you want to take a headstand or a handstand or something else instead, you're welcome to. Otherwise, for plow, sweep your legs up and over your head. Bring your hands to your back if you need a little extra support. Or you can interlace your hands and keep your arms straight and pressing down on your mat. Either way, make sure your neck feels okay, your upper back feels okay. And you can stay here in plow for about half a minute or so, or turn it to shoulder stand, or whatever else you are taking for about half a minute from here. If you're in shoulder stand, come back into plow. From plow, roll your back all the way down to the floor. Coming onto our back and into happy baby again. Reach inside your knees, grab the outside of your feet and happy baby a few breaths like this again. Release your feet, hug your legs in and rock up to sitting. We're coming into pigeon neck, so let your right knee fall out to the right. Your left leg goes around and back. Pigeon, if you want to take something else instead of pigeon, you can. We've got about a minute on each side, this first side here. Pigeon or whatever hip opener you'd like. Find that starting place and just relax into this first side here. to come out from this side, lifting yourself up and making your way to the other side. So finding pigeon or whatever hip opener you'd like to take. 
find that starting place. And again, we've got about a minute just like this on this second side here. So finding your starting place and relaxing into this. Your breath should be getting deeper and slower. Also mentally, after you've done all that work in the first part of class, just let your thoughts get a little calmer, ease down as you embrace resting. from here lifting your body up make your way all the way onto your back from there hug your legs in once you've made it to your back from there reach your right leg straight up toward the ceiling and your left leg extended out on the floor and use your hands, grab behind your right ankle, your foot. You can use a strap around that right foot. But taking that leg up and then back towards your torso as that hamstring opens up on this side. few breaths, take that leg as far over to the right as you'd like. Bring that leg back up and for a few breaths, take that leg over to the left as far as you like. This gets a little different opening in that right leg. Good, bring that leg back up to center. Extend that right leg out on the floor. Switching sides, that left leg reaches up. Grab somewhere behind that leg or use a strap around that left foot. But Bring that left leg back toward your torso and try to keep that left leg straight. Take that left leg over to the left, a little or a lot, whatever's okay for you. Bring that leg back up and then take that same leg over to the right as much as you want for a few breaths here. that leg back up extend that left leg on the floor hug your right leg back into your body coming into a twist your left hand takes that knee over to the left for a few breaths on this side you 
bring that leg back up. Extend that right leg out on the floor and hug your left leg in. Your right hand takes the knee over to the right for a few breaths here. up to center, extend it out onto the floor as we head into Shavasana. Find a position you're comfortable and where you can relax. It's been a long, long journey to get to this point. Thank you for your work and your effort. Yoga terms at your warrior side. You might term it in the West as athlete. Either way, it takes so much of your dedication and focus. So thank you for all that and changing your body for the better. This last pose, we simply embrace resting and the importance of it. Now, one more thing before we rest. Take a big breath in. Hold your breath in here. Open your mouth and sigh that breath all out. You did it. Just relax as deeply as you like. your heels back and roll to your right side. Press up to sitting and we'll bring our hands together at our hearts, closing our eyes.
such incredible work. Thank you for deciding to spend 60 minutes out of all the things you could have done. Spending 60 minutes to make yourself better. It's always a physical change, always a mental and emotional change as well. And I want your spirit to feel good inside and out so that any and everything you do after this feels better. So thank you for your work and your effort and your joy all through our time together. Have a beautiful rest of your day wherever you go from here. Namaste.